to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you seven budget friendly tips to embrace a very high end luxe looking space. Now, whether you own your own home or rent, these tips are for you. The problem that we have sometimes when it comes to decorating is that we get stuck. We save and we pin all these things on Pinterest, right? And we see things in magazines and we are for sure that we're going to try to aim for those looks and we buy tons of things. And then when we put it all together, we sometimes miss the mark. And I wanna kinda of go over why sometimes you buy all these things and it's not exactly the look that you are aiming for. I feel that a lot of the problem is very simple and could be easily sort of adjusted. I want you guys by the end of this video to be really inspired to refresh and transform your own spaces. So let's start with tip number one. I kinda of wanna give you the mindset that I want you guys to embrace. When you are designing, you kinda of have to already see the finished product and it's very easy to sort of transition there. I feel like sometimes people just um, overlook the very simple things that they can do. Um, money doesn't necessarily mean that your house is going to look luxurious. You can spend lots of money and buy expensive furniture and your house can still look uncurated and just not styled well. Um, so these tips will definitely help you steer you in the right direction so that we can get you guys to optimize what you currently have at home. Tip number one would be to refresh your couch. Couches are expensive these days. You know, couches can, a really nice couch if you're into design and you definitely are looking on Pinterest, you definitely can see those couches range from $1,500 all the way up to almost $10,000. For now, until you are working on a budget to get your dream couch, what you can do for right now is invest in beautiful covers. Now I take to online stores like Etsy, um, which Etsy sells lots of handmade, handcrafted, beautiful organic items. And I would totally invest in a linen couch cover. Now there's two ways to go about this. You can get a size to your couch, piece of linen and just do the old fashioned tuck, or you can invest a little bit more, which will be way less than buying a brand new couch. If you spend a few hundred dollars, you can get it custom made to slip into your couch. So you would get a slip cover. Now, a lot of people technically are doing this. A lot of people love that linen worn in sort of um, cozy couch look and I've been seeing it on Pinterest over and over again I personally love it so slip covers are a very inexpensive way to refresh and transform a couch guys you can really make that couch look completely brand new by just doing that by just getting a and it doesn't have to be linen you guys can even reupholster your own couch if you're very creative and you have a staple gun go to your local fabric store buy yards of fabric that is to the size of your couch and just go for it but if you are not crafty in that way then you can go on etsy or you can even go to your local fabric store and buy enough fabric to cover and tuck your couch. Now, to step it up just a little bit more, I would also transform the look by adding pillows. Pillows will give it that sort of finished, polished look. You wanna invest in various size pillows. So when you are looking at photos of inspirational living rooms, you would notice that the sofas are very styled, whether that be several pillows or different texture of pillows, different size pillows. Just take note as to what you are seeing and how that look is all coming together. Just pick up pillows that match your fabric, match your decor, and buy various sizes in various shapes. So guys, transforming your couch is probably my number one tip that really transforms your whole living room space. Okay guys, so tip number two would be to consider your lighting. Do you have outdated lamps? Do you have outdated light fixtures? It is really easy to sometimes change the flush mount lighting that is in a ceiling. So many people don't know that you can easily, with just a few screws, undo the flush mount lighting, like those old fashioned boob lights we used to call them, and replace it with just a beautiful, more modern shape flush mount light. Understand that lighting is very essential when it comes to design 
lighting. Um, I never took lighting very seriously until I started getting into um, interior designing and found that lighting is very essential. Lighting can range from very inexpensively from sites like Amazon, Target, Walmart, HomeSense, HomeGoods, um, those to name a few, but they can also range into a higher bracket. Just know that there is, um, there are very budget friendlier options and you can still get that luxe look with those other um, with those other suppliers that I mentioned. Okay guys, so tip number three would have to be my all time favorite to talk about. It is what I actually built this channel on <laughs> and that is upcycling your furniture. You may have pieces that are, that have really good bones. You may have beautiful pieces, maybe pieces passed down um, into the family or just not in a position to buy new furniture. Consider what you already have and look at the potential of what you can transform it to be. All you need is a little bit of creativity. I have taken vintage furniture from thrift stores and have made it look like it can be sold at a high-end store for thousands of dollars. And sometimes all it takes is a good sander and some stain. So guys, I want you to look at what you currently have. If you have an old coffee table, is the shape cool? Maybe it's just an outdated color. Consider maybe sanding it down and maybe putting a new fresh coat of stain on there, or maybe just paint it. If staining and sanding is out of your league, then consider just painting, priming and painting the table. I have found that just doing something so simple just as that can also completely transform your space and can give you a brand new table and a brand new love and appreciation for the table. You will find that just tweaking that can really make things look so fresh and so modern. And that is what you're after. You want to make things look like they belong in 2022, not back in the 90s or 2000s. So consider the, again, consider the images that you are loving. You know, I always say, grab some photos of pictures that you wish your house looked like this. You want to replicate this and study those pictures. Study what is it in those pictures that is really making that space look so luxe, look so elevated, right? Because it's very simple because a lot of the things that they have, you already have. Now, it again, it has nothing to do with the price tag. It has to do with just how they style things tones, textures, and what they brought together to really tell the story, to really make it look presentable, right? So remember guys that upcycling is very easy to do, super affordable. It only takes a can of paint or some stain and a sander to really achieve such beautiful results. So resist buying that new piece of furniture. Just try transforming what you have now and see how you like it. Okay guys, tip number four would be consider changing your wall color. Now, I wouldn't just leave it to just wall color. You may want to play around with texture. Wallpaper is really trending this year and there are so many options that you can choose from. There's even the peel and stick wallpaper. So gone are the days of all that old sticky um, stuff that used to spread all over the wall. Now you can easily just unravel a large piece of wallpaper and peel the backing right off. Now you will need some help for that. But consider that these are options for 2022. You can really transform an entire room with just a single color or even adding some fresh wallpaper. I find keeping colors more neutral really lends to that sophisticated elegance. And it doesn't have to be just white. There are many shades of beautiful neutral tones. You can go into the brown you can go into the greens. They're just such beautiful tones that are more subtle and soft. So it's definitely a budget-friendly way to um, completely transform your living space. Okay guys, so tip number five would be to consider refreshing your home decor. A lot of people are very sentimental when it comes to their home decor. They have keepsakes that have been passed down um, into the family and they just have heirlooms that are very sort of personal and sentimental to them. Now I'm not saying to get rid of them, but I'm saying that if you want to elevate your space, sometimes keeping old picture frames and old sort of home decor kind of laying around can look cluttered, can look messy and just look outdated. And by removing those things and maybe just setting them in another designated space, you can now incorporate modern, fresh pieces into your home and you do not have to even spend a lot of money doing so. 
if you guys have been following me on this channel for a little bit, you will know that I thrift a lot and I get very lucky finding beautiful home decor. So thrift stores is one of the ways that you can attain beautiful home decor pieces to sort of freshen up, maybe change your style a little bit. It's a very affordable way to kind of play with new decor before investing in like really expensive pieces, artwork and things like that. So I always find that if I want to make a change, I usually always hit the thrift stores. If you're like me and you like to change things up often, then doing thrift stores, antique shops, flea markets, things of that nature are very budget friendly. Um, they introduce new decor to you. And honestly, guys, I just wind up donating again when I am done with it. I buy it and then I use it and then I give it back and then I buy some more. So. No one loses out, so it's a win-win for everyone. So just think about the home decor that you see staged when you are looking into your inspiration photos, right? So in those photos, what are the textures that they have used in the photo? Where is the placement? And that will sort of give you an idea as to where to put it because most people instantly will put a bookshelf up and then just stack it all the way from bottom to top with just stuff and it can look really messy and not cohesive. And what we're looking for is cohesiveness. We wanna tell a story. So consider taking down your old home decor, put it in a box, put it up in the attic somewhere. Tip number six would be to consider artwork. Artwork can add a lot of value into your space. It is something that your eyes really go right to when you walk inside of a room. So we have to be careful that what is hanging on the wall that you are presenting well and that it is sort of tying in with everything else in your space. Now, artwork can be very expensive, um, but we are doing a budget-friendly version and I wanna share with you that you don't have to buy expensive artwork. For starters, you can create your own artwork by buying a very large canvas. And guys, a quick little tip of what you can do is sometimes those canvases can be pricey. They can be over $100 at the craft store. What I like to do is go to the thrift store when people have donated their old 1980s um, canvases and buy those. Sometimes they're under $10 and take them home and put a fresh coat of white paint over it and just think of what you want your artwork to look like. For Luckily for me, I love a lot of abstract artwork, so I normally just take a, um, a spatula and some plaster and do a beautiful minimalistic abstract artwork. If you are not a DIY kind of a person, you can again go to retailers like Target and Walmart. One of my most favorite places, if I'm not DIYing, to instantly go to for artwork would be to go to Home Goods or Home Sense. Guys, a lot of the large artwork that I have hanging in my own living room is from um, Home Goods about three years ago, and I get so many compliments on it. These paintings can be $100 to $200. Um, so it is a little bit on the higher end of the budget. Again, if that is not something that you are willing to risk spending, then I would take buying a inexpensive canvas at a thrift store and repainting it and doing your own kind of artwork. The significance of artwork is really important because our eyes are drawn to the wall. And depending on what you have hanging there, it could either make or break your space. So we kind of really want to elevate it. and. When we are looking at high-end spaces, um, everything is hung just right. Everything is hung in a gallery style or thing, frames are cohesive. Um, there is definitely um, a mood and a story being told with the artwork that is presented on the wall. So consider either DIYing your artwork or purchasing artwork at very affordable stores like Home Goods and Home Sense and Target. I think you guys get the point but artwork is super important. You can really easily accomplish beautiful artwork by doing one or the other. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. If you found these tips helpful, I would appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I do a lot of home decor content, DIYs and thrifting videos. If that's the kind of content you love to binge watch, then I invite you to subscribe to this channel. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this week and I'll see you in my next video soon.